Finally, holy smokes. My goodness. It's not getting easier every night, it's getting harder. I gotta keep signing in six, seven times. It's mad, that's mad, it's insane. How can I have a stream all set up, do a preview, have everything set up, go through the wire cast, set everything up, and then I gotta keep signing in. I don't know how I get away with it each night. I really don't. I just don't know. I don't know what to do with it. Just keep doing what I'm doing, I suppose. Keep doing what I'm doing. How did I screw up here? Hang on. Unbelievable. There it is. See. Hi, folks. Here we go. Sorry. Uh, so we're off to a new year and I congratulate everybody for showing up last night today and again tonight. I uh, see Nuru Magic is not feeling good folks. Uh, you'll find links on their uh, video to his site if you're watching this later. And in the comment section you'll see him there right now. Um, and you'll find other links of course down below. And this year, I think uh, we won. We won last year in the sense of we have logic. That's m so much more better than bananas and uh, background radiation of potatoes. And if you don't know what that means, it's that all the pundits and everybody out there uh, will tell you that oh, the radiation will be like the background radiation of a banana. And what they mean by that is a banana has been on this planet. That radiation is everything on this planet that has that background radiation. It's harmless. You could eat bananas all day and it can't hurt you. And like you say, if you took a cup of bananas and put it in a room full of people, it won't do nothing to them. Let me check something now. I guess my audio is probably screwed up. Everything else is. Come over. Let me come down here. See if anybody's yelling at me for a second before I go down that road. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks, baby mama. Ricky Sticky. Mickey, hi. Moments, nothing more. I'll get back on track in a second. Hi, Joel. Central California. Welcome, Miss Frill. How are you? Hi, Jester. Camshaft, hey, bud. Uh, Nuda Weya. Yeah, no, that was a little difficult. And Big Now TV, hi. I'll come down and say hi as soon as I'm here. Thanks, hippie. Blast the hippie. Hi, Lisa. Lisa Yuanda. I probably screwed that up. Sorry. Now we got Basic Data, hi. Sergeant York, hey. Candace, hi, Candace. Missing Sky, hi. You'll find Missing Sky's link below, too, by the way, folks. Always posting videos. And uh, that doesn't mean everybody I'm saying hi to don't post videos too. And that's part of what we're going to be talking about tonight. I got a good one for us. I think I do anyway. Hi, Zeke Free. Check one, check two, check three. All reactors are missing and melted down. I seen comments um, on TYT's video where they say, oh, there was no explosion. There's no meltdown. Unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Uh, Vanis Lou, Vancouver Island, cross from me. We got, ooh, Char, hi Char, thank you. I see you, uh, I see your messages. You, you've been uh, tweeting Bill Maher, I think it was you were saying, and a bunch of celebrities. That's awesome. No, that's awesome. Uh, they need to learn too, right? Hi Max, celebrities, uh, they need uh, the truth. And they need a rational truth, I think, that we bring to them. And, you know, the, the comment section is always interesting for people, too, when they don't know what's going on. And they're, they're slowly working their way in. And they come to this site here and they catch a live stream. And sometimes the comments can get pretty wound up. Like Tepco the other night, 1,600 comments. And uh, Nubru Magic will tell you, you know, the trolls, they don't leave him alone. 
And it's not like this one video where you get a troll on it. I got 800 videos, so they can pick and choose how they want to get at me. And they can come at me on 100 videos and have many, many times over the last eight years. I've had uh, 500 different trolls a day uh, come after me. And that's just the way it is. It's not logic, but that's what we bring. It's not common sense, but that's what we will be bringing that we're running into. But we solved all that because a banana can't be used to bludgeon us no more. About radiation, because it's got nothing to do with uranium-238, or I'm sorry, uranium-234, certainly uranium-238, which is the leftover yellow cake. And a potato got nothing to do with uranium-235. And the background radiation when you're walking down the road has nothing to do with plutonium. It has nothing to do when you're flying on a plane. Well, that's not true anymore. Because in a plane now you're flying through the plumes. When you're driving through the death stream, flying through the death streams, uh, these planes are radiated. And you see examples like that, of course, uh, recently, the USS uh, Ronald Reagan where they had to scrub the planes down every time they landed on the deck. So imagine um, uh, the commercial planes that are flying through the plumes every day. That's serious background radiation and buckyballs, and there's links below to peer review studies about that kind of stuff. And tonight I, I just, I thought, um, I come in and we, hi Duane, Ketzer K, Stetson, Griffin, Lunar, uh, Baby Mama, Penny Miller, i just say hi to a few of you folks at the same time. Because this is the first of the month, so anybody don't know what's going on, there's comment sections to my left, it's a live stream, comments below, the video is rendered, popped back up. Uh, and we interact as much as we can. I rant sometimes for an hour, but generally I like to come over and say hi to people. That's what makes it possible. That's the only reason I can sit here every night and do what I'm doing is because people support me um, uh, spectacularly actually and that's something else that um, I don't mention enough I don't think even though I do mention it every night but I don't think I mention enough I'll ever mention enough that what you guys are doing is working right to remind you uh, that the more people that joins in uh, it's very noticeable is the best way to put it to me I can see the huge difference now and so that gives us confidence, and I'm going to do what I'm going to do anyway. But it makes it that much better uh, to have that support all the time. And the support, you know, is because people want the truth. They're tired of having to search through 100 videos to find someone like Nubu Magic, for instance. And they got to search through 100 of, you know, before they learn about the alternative media and that you could actually... Uh, put, you know, do your research based off of what they're saying. But when you go to the mainstream media, right, you're sho you have a banana shoved in your face or the background radiation when you're walking down the road shoved in your face, and that doesn't work no more. And that's, and, and the reason I'm saying that is because everybody tore TEPCO up the other night on my video uh, with that kind of logic. It was, and, and it, just, it was so stupid when I read the comments when they would say, oh, it's like the background radiation of a banana, and people were just literally, you can see people through their comments were literally, ha, 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 and just, oh, my goodness, right? Leave the computer alone before you get in trouble, little kid, kind of uh, attitude towards them, because it's so absurd, and that's how we're going to win this year, believe it or not. And this is the only way we're really going to win if we all participate on a bigger scale. And so some of the ideas might work like this, you know, when you get a uh, mainstream topic that goes out through all the mainstream at the one time, you know how they all, uh, all their videos will start showing up. And they'll have this one pundit that they'll all quote. Well, imagine two or three or four thousand or five or a million people all of a sudden coming out with a video and saying, hey, a banana's got nothing to do with uranium-235, so why did you mention that? And you say their names, just like a 10, 15 second video, and you release that onto the internet. 
And so in one day, there's like 2,000 people came out and went, boom. Do you think another pundit is going to get up on the TV land and say that tomorrow? No. I can guarantee you. And all of a sudden, they all get it, that if you don't tell the truth, now there's a repercussion. A real repercussion, because you educated people by that 15-second video. You broke that paradigm. You ripped that to shreds. And we proved that here on this site already, how efficient that actually is. <coughs> and so we control the narrative, is what I'm trying to say. We can actually do that. But we have to do it, right? Not me. We have to do it. All of us. All of us have to get our courage up. And make that 10 or 15 minute uh, second video. Because that's the most powerful thing on the planet. It's particularly when it's done in that context. Where two or three or four thousand people come out and put out the video. And then they get up on their Twitter and they blog it on his, onto them. Say, hey, I just called you out. And they get 2,000 messages like that. And what happens is they can't control that. That's what they fear the most. They fear the most is your voice. And the illusion can only last as long as you, you let it. You'll only have as much tyranny as you will put up with. That's the maximum amount of tyranny you will ever live with, is the amount you put up with. And right now you're not putting up with it because you can't, you have no options. And, you know, we spend last, the end of last year screaming. Well, this year we're going to come out with solutions every single time. And we need to rally in that context where we don't have to participate even on a chat room right here, say for instance. But we can make that video or convince a friend to make the video and put it out for them because they work in... But, I mean, the most powerful thing is the truth. And... Coming out and saying, hey, a banana's got nothing to do with uranium-235. And when you say strontium or cesium-137, that actually means uranium because the reactors are made of uranium, not strontium. The reactors are made of plutonium, not cesium, and not iodine, right? So when you hear the words iodine, that means uranium. And that don't go away for 4.5 billion years, but you got a rule of thumb, it's called 10. So it's 45 billion years because uh, each time it breaks down, you know, 4.5 billion years and then half of it breaks down to something else and half of that eventually will, not that we'll ever be around to find out about it, not that we even care, come back in a couple of billion years and tell me about it if you think it's a real issue. But the words banana on TV and in media and on websites, we can, we can slaughter that. We can slaughter that. That's one media saying the story, or five media saying the story. We come out with 2,000 people with 10, 15, 20 second videos that are very short, very articulate, and no name calling, no insulting, maybe a bit of sarcasm. And that's the end of them. You ended their career. Because for you know weeks and months and years, that's going to sting. And they're not going to put their foot back in the mouth after taking that kind of beating. And all of their fans just got educated and just got um, got their curiosity. And I mean, you can always look at it that way where you can put a newspaper ad in for five or ten dollars or fifty dollars uh, to somebody that you like. It's the same equivalence of that in that sense. But also to come out and slam them with 10 or 15 seconds, 2,000 people. To me, everybody else will be afraid to say the words banana. Now they got to say potatoes or they got to say uh, walking down the road. So after four or five hammers like that, can you imagine five or six or 7,000 people coming out each time and just being funny about it? You know, 5,000 people trying to find out who could do it the funniest and insult this person without, without being, you know, too. Not, you can be over the top if you want, I guess, but. And that's because you would expect that out of 5,000 people. And so now you got everybody going out and grabbing everybody's clips and making little videos, you know, like a two minute video of, of just uh, that's that to me. But six months down the road, uh, they'd be on their knees. Well, because the world 
looks at it now and they the people are smart enough to do things see they just have to understand what it is they got to do and we can change the game imagine if we just took one day and we had 4800 peer review academic studies that guy went to his lab if we had 48 academic studies 4800 academic studies tomorrow that instead of we're published and locked away were published and were about Fukushima and radiation. And think about the law is how a nuclear power plant, they, they get their licenses, and under licenses they say, what are you going to do with the uranium-238, the yellow cake, the americium, the plutonium, the strontium, and everything else, and all the harsh chemicals that you use. And they say, well, we're going to put it in a sarcophagus, and we're going to keep it there till the end of time for a million years, and then that generation will figure out how to deal with it, we hope. But we're going to put it in a sarcophagus. Now, the, they get their license, and then they put it in 45-gallon drums and dump it in ditches. They put it in 45-gallon drums and dump it off of ships. They put it in, in uh, bullets and fire it all over the fucking planet. 5.5 million rounds a month in Iraq and Afghanistan. And so what I'm saying is, that's how you approach it. You say, you say, well, for starters, that stuff shouldn't even be out there anywhere. They said they were going to put it all in a sarcophagus till the end of time. And we get, they just dumped it off the ships, and there's so much evidence and proof of that now. But that's the logic we're dealing with, is people that actually, over and over and over with these nuclear power plants, oh, no, we're going to put it in a sarcophagus, and the regulators don't hold them accountable, and we don't hold them accountable. Under our constitutions and our Bill of Rights and our Magna Carters, you're obligated. It is your obligation to hold the system. You're obligated under your Bill of Rights, under your constitutions and Magna Carters, to hold your government accountable. That's your obligation. It's, it's your actual obligation. You're obligated as a citizen of your country to do that. That's your patriotic duty, to hold them accountable. And to hold them accountable now is um, they demonized everybody who points their fingers at the system right the system has been able to get away with that we're going to change that that's what we're going to do whether they like it or not it's irrelevant we're doing it for their own good uh, because radiation doesn't discriminate whether you're a government employee or whether your child is a government inbreed you're all susceptible to radiation nobody gets to escape that and so the americans just ordered 40 14 million iodine pills they want delivered by february think about that one well, that's to keep the law alive, and that's just enough pills for the government across America themselves, right? That's not for the citizens. and But that iodine is only going to protect you against, you guessed it, that seven-day, uh, what they call a half-life of iodine, which actually works out to the magnitude of 10, right? So 70 days. But that what, what it really means is that if the iodine-131 is present, the iodine-129 is present. That's got a 15 million year half-life. And it also means uranium is present. And like all the headlines we've seen here, 1,500 buckyballs per cubic meter, if you take one breath in that cubic meter of air in California, you sucked in at least a buckyball, if not a few dozen or a few hundred. Well... It only takes one of these buckyballs, and there's links below to the peer review studies about the buckyballs, how they ingest a uranium or strontium, say, or plutonium as a nucleoid, and that becomes an engine. And if it's a uranium engine, then it lasts for 4.5 billion years. And like you say, if it's the iodine-129 engine, it's 15 million years. And that's a long time. So it's pumping out massive amounts of energy. It gets in your body. It gets sequestered in there. So if we had 4,800 peer review studies for just one single day of how to deal with, how humans can deal with radiated uh, future. If we had, get this one, if we had 4,800 peer review studies a day of putting uh, nutrition into the GMO food instead of taking it all out, we wouldn't have half the worries we got. If we were to take... 4,800 peer review academic studies that we lock up every day that our children's produce that we paid for, that we pay for all of that, all the equipment, all the professors, all the rentals, all, you know, the, the thousand hours per peer review academic study that's published. That's not counting the ones that are not published every day. There's probably three or four times that 
that are not published every day. There's probably 15,000 that are not published, that don't meet the criteria, that are ready to go each day. And so it's not like we don't have the capability to do this at all. It's the capability, they don't, they don't want you to know this is happening. And that's, that's unacceptable. This is a handful of people that are controlling our destiny. And that's not, um, I don't care. That's not an obstacle for me. I don't see it that way. I see that we got one option, one shot. We got a meteorite that already smashed into us. And we got to try to recover before that other one gets here. And we got to knock that out of the way. And that's Fukushima and all the other nuclear uh, crap holes on this planet. Because nuclear can't be contained. And that no isotope is so small it won't give you cancer. No. And the top leading cancer expert on the planet has repeatedly said that radi nuclear radiation is the most carcinogenic thing on the planet, bar nothing. And so when you hear Helen Calicott always repeating stuff like, oh, it's going to take 20 or 30 years before the cancer shows up, so if you're old, you don't have to worry about it. Someone should tell her to shut the fuck up. Because that's not fucking true. And that's murder. That's a hot particle. And those people could die in the next five months or a year from that hot particle. Particularly if it's close to your heart. And particularly if you've got like, you know, any other ailments because you've been eating GMO. And so all we need to do really, truly, is engineer nutrition like DCA into our food. It's a natural mineral. Because we can engineer all the potassium, all the magnesium, all the iron, the cobalt, the carbon, all the calcium out of our food. Because that's what all of our supermarkets have done. All the corner shops have done. All that crap you buy for your children, that's child abuse, by the way. If you know better, you know craft is GMO and you still buy it and give it to your child, that's child abuse. It's simple. It doesn't get any more simpler than that, in my opinion. Maybe I, maybe I see the world different. Because there's nothing there. It's like taking paper, dipping it in from aldehyde and glossophates, and then give it to your child and say, here, chew on that. There is no iron. There's no calcium. Like corn, you would need a pickup truck, 428 pieces of GMO corn to get the same amount of calcium that's in a single organic corn on the cob. But that's not enough for me. That's not enough for you, I know. Uh, no Guru Magic's uploading a video, folks. But that's not enough for me, is that what we have to come out and demand is the engineer, you know, I, I know this is asking a lot, but the engineer nutrition into the GMO food. I know, I know, I know, I know what you're saying. You say like, come on, Dana, come on, come on, be reasonable. Uh, but when you think about it, they engineer it all out, they probably could engineer it all in too. They could probably put more potassium in there instead of less. They could probably put more, you know, more. <laughs> Nutrition and oh, this is really good. You know, I know, I know this is going into the legend and everything, but what do you think about taking the formaldehyde out of our food that never been in food before? What do you think about that one? Or taking the glossophates out of our GMO foods? I know, I know, I know. It's like Dana, you're just a little too much dirt tonight, Dana. Come on, that's the reality of it. It's like a media video that went viral. The reason it went viral because they told the truth. And everybody's like, oh, media told the fucking truth. And it's gone all over Twitter and Facebook and it's got millions of views and they're writing fucking books. Because <laughs> they told the truth. And a lot of people really don't get the irony of it. You know, they take advantage of it. They got, they got the society so well manipulated. That's not going to work anymore. Right? That's not going to work no more. And so, first off, we have to end the lie. We have to end the nuclear lie of background radiation from nuclear power plants is the equivalent 
no matter how far removed, it'll never be the equivalent of a banana radiation. A banana can't run a nuclear power plant. A banana is not going to give you breast cancer. A banana is not going to give you prostate cancer, depending, I guess. <laughs> but a banana, in general, from background radiation, is not capable of giving anything on the planet cancer, because everything on the planet has that insignificant, insignificant, it has nothing to do with nuclear radiation. Nuclear radiation is radiation. The rods that are used are two million times worse, more deadly. Like a cup of them will kill everybody in your office. A cup of them in an hour will kill everybody at McDonald's or Tim Hortons or Walmart in an hour, every hour till the end of time. A cup of bananas is not going to kill anybody. And it'll kill you like that. It'll kill you in a few seconds. It'll melt your organs. You'll, you'll get disoriented immediately and your, your brain just it cooks you literally cooks you in uh, something we've never seen before it does not that's only capable because it's man-made and so the way forward is we we break the law by destroying the lawyers through uh, kindness of a 15 second videos and I've had a lot of practice at this and just one video about these people will drive their PR firms into a frenzy, into a total panic. They can't deal with it. That someone would speak out and criticize a corporation's uh, puppet. And that's the point that I've said many times over the years, is that that's all it takes is a few thousand people, five people, a hundred people. A hundred people is really effective. Two thousand be brutally effective. You can just stomp any subject you want into the dirt. That's the end of that one. Move on to the next one. You can conquer the whole industry in a couple of weeks if you went at it every day like that. You can take every one of their lies and eviscerate it with a well thought out reply, and then two million or two hundred or or a hundred people come out with that narrative in a video. They can't escape it because all their fans and their PR firms and their families and them and their friends and the people that employ them will watch that video. They have to watch that video to counter in case there's something going on. And so you educate them at the same time. And so nobody can live the law anymore. You took the law away. You took that power away from them. You took it away from them. Hi, Andy Go. Hi, Mickey Smith. And so this is the future that I'm goddamn Zooey. What's aluminum got to do with it? Careful. Hi Annabeck, Lunar, Ivan, Sergeant. How many cleanup workers have died? I know, I wanted to do the look forward tonight and solutions. We'll cover that tomorrow night or something. Uh, there's, a mil there's a million went through uh, Chernobyl, 30% meltdown, one third the size of any of the reactors at Fukushima. They were using graphite, right? And so a million people ran up on the roofs. And I'll just touch upon that for a moment. A million people, because that's really important. A million people ran up on the roof uh, for 15 seconds, folks. 15 seconds. Your job is to run, to go to Fukushima, Run it on the roof with a little tiny shovel. It's a little like an old fashioned cold shovel. And that's because if you pick up too big of a piece, you'll melt your organs. And you'll die right there and you'll have to step over your body. You'll be in the way and a number of people will have to die to get your body out of the way. Because you can only last, because there's so many Rankins, 10, 12,000 Rankins. And 200 Rankins, will it's a death sentence. You can't last more than two weeks. And so all of those, uh, the first couple of hundred thousand that ran out on the roof of Masha uh, in Chernobyl, they named the, the ceilings after uh, what they called uh, angry women. And so the more rankings on the roof, the more angrier the woman. And so they just had these, it's a stupid thing. But anyway, that's what they done. So the roof is known as Masha. Um, in 15 seconds to 20 seconds on the roof. In Fukushima, apparently they've gone through around 300,000 workers. Not a million, 
not six million like they should have been gone through by now they should have been gone through around 15 or 20 million males should be sterilized by now at least and they would have went in there and worked for 15 or 20 seconds the first million of them and so they would have ran out done something for 15 seconds then they would have got a big paycheck and went home and they would have got a medal 600,000 uh, Gorbachev mobilized 600,000 they got medals from the military for 15 seconds, a lot of them for only 15 seconds. They went up on the roof, 15 seconds. A little shovel, and they picked up little rocks, right, three or four rocks about that big. And they ran over, they threw it off the edge of the roof, and then they ran and went back home. Never went back to the nuclear uh, radiation site again, if they survived. The ones that did survive, a lot of people died. There's a, there's, there's a lot of translations from papers down there, I know. Uh, that says around a million people have died from it but that's uh, we don't know if that's workers or not but we do know that this stuff you can only work in it for 15 seconds so how deadly was it and you still had to run to the edge of the roof with sneakers on no protection breathing you know all these hot particles you're not only getting the x-rays and the gamma bursts I mean um, we're talking about a roof covered in graphite and Fukushima is, is, is mostly uranium. So when they tell you 137, that's because that's all they can find with their Geiger counters. And these buckyballs, there's so many different types of these buckyballs because they ingest isotopes that normally probably wouldn't last very long. But once they get inside of that, uh, they, they, the buckyballs, there's a link below to the peer review studies, how they get like 60 binders and spherically they're like dust in your ear and you can inhale that and there's around 1501 of these atoms per cubic meter there was at least everybody in Seattle for instance in uh, April and May March I'm sorry yeah April and May were breathing approximately 10 buckyballs a day hot particles these are see these are hot particles because of the way the sulfur from the salt water made these buckyballs I forgot to mention that part to everybody and I know I digressed a bit yeah, there's, there's a video below uh, 3828 that went out, up on the roof. There was a million people went on the site. And when I said Fukushima, there should be a million running there and getting those numbers. It's because those sites had the massive explosion. Same, there was a big explosion at Chernobyl as well. You used those numbers also. And so rods got thrown everywhere. It was, but the roof, they needed to clean that off, right? And there's a documentary below this video about that, as we're watching. It was made by the people that were out on the roof, the cameramen. And uh, it's a very touching video, a very informative video, a very scary video, a very frightening video. And a video we use all the time now for comparison, because that's a well-known subject. Um, Russia, in 19, late 1940s, used to dump their yellow cake into the local river and they ended up having to relocate 7,500 communities. Think about that one. Russia's also deep six 14 reactors and we don't know if they went critical. But Fukushima is unique. It has four re reactors that popped their tops and they threw projectiles a couple of miles. And those projectiles were rods that are so dangerous that a half of the rod there's 122,000 average in a pond on the roofs of the reactors were 10 stories high. There were several ponds on these roofs. So, and, um, number three was MOX fuel. MOX fuel is considered 2 million times more deadly than any other reactor on the planet. So that's like 18 million Chernobyls. I know I, sometimes I'll say 2 million Chernobyls, but it's like 18 million Chernobyls because MOX fuel plants are bigger, plus it had all the fuel on the, pot, on the roof. The reactors are melted down and missing. And Chernobyl was one-third the size of the smallest reactor at Fukushima, but they didn't have the pools involved. And so this is where we need to have a look into the future. And how are we going to deal with this? Well, every day there's 4,800 peer-reviewed academic studies that are published, and we never get to read. They're locked away at the Ivory Springer and Wiley Ivory Towers because they get the copyrights to everything we produce because they're gods, okay? They're gods. And that's why we are stuck in the society we're stuck in is because all the technology that's really done for corporations 
uh, and particularly the publishers. I mean, they control the funding because the big corporations are dependent upon the publishers to give them their information. And the publishers, of course, nobody really knows who these creatures are, but they get the copyright on most of the peer review, the best ones on our planet. Just 4,800 a day, three a minute, thousand page academic journals. If we had a single day of that, because we pushed this out there and we will get that, that's what we're gonna get, I guarantee you. And in short order, we're gonna get to work on that because we got no options. That's the way forward, like Japan done, you know, back in the 2000s where they took, uh, they took all the, the robotic industries, put them under one roof, and they put all the 1,500 universities and institutions at their beck and call to solve any problems, to be the first country to have a robot in everybody's house. Of course, that all went to hell now. But that was their way forward, right? They were going to solve it. They were going to, they were going to put an end to that. And when you look at stuff like, say, the space shuttle, well, it takes 10,000 companies, take up 10,000 universities, to solve the equation at Fukushima just for uh, storage or just to stop the hemorrhaging into the ocean. So 10,000 universities go to work on that side. 10,000 universities are working, rallying, and sharing their ideas. Everybody's sharing their ideas so everybody can flip to the better idea, not lock it all up, right, in some ivory tower where just a military industrial machine gets to create. And the reason we're creating all of these isotopes is for military industrial complexes equations. They're trying to solve and prove equations no different than the churn, where that 5,000 scientists and 25 miles and billions of dollars is all about solving an equation. It's got nothing to do with the 27,000 children that are dying every day. They don't care about that equation, right? Bill Gates vaccinated a billion people in India, and there's 27, you know, to stop 600 a year from getting polio, and there's 27,000 children dying every day, and, you, and people don't think that's suspicious. People don't think that's odd. And so a lot of us would wonder, why doesn't the media ask Bill Gates about that? And so eventually you have to ask yourself a question. Well, if nobody asks him, if nobody ever calls him, if nobody ever holds him to account, then they're just talking heads and that's useless. And when you're indoctrinated and grow up and the TV was your babysitter and the TV was your best friend and the TV was your, you know, when you got the long winter nights and you got your bored, the internet didn't exist, what if the TV, you read a book. Because I grew up, there was no TVs. And so I just read an amazing amount of books. But I was fortunate, I read a lot of interesting books. And, uh, you know, that was a taste of knowledge that never quenched itself. And now I have uh, probably 7,000 lectures of uranium and nuclear and the nuclear fix uh, that uh, just I'm mesmerized all my life now about this thing. And I finally get it to the point where, you know, in that sense, it shouldn't be on the planet because uh, the licenses they're going to put in the sarcophagus, they know they can't build a sarcophagus, but yet they gave them a license for something they know they can't build. And then, you know, wink, wink, see? And then they put it in a 45-gallon drum, and they contaminate a whole lot of people and just to get it into the ocean. Then they kill the ocean, and then they go home and sleep at night. And so they know what they're doing. They have no illusions about what they're doing. It's just a good old boys club, but they tell you they're going to put it in a sarcophagus. Don't worry, it'll be in a sarcophagus. It'll be safe, right? The media does it all the time. And that law doesn't, uh, can't work anymore and can't be used anymore. And the best thing and the only thing that we got going for us is we have the ability for the first time ever on this planet as a collective to stomp them into the ground if necessary but preferably just to correct them. Did everybody come out? 2,000 people with a 15 second video saying no sorry a banana's got nothing to do with uranium 235 and why do you say you know you come out with a video about somebody that come out and says oh the strontium or the cesium and you can come out and correct them 
But if you've done it as a unity, as a collective, when the headline showed up, not that you got to come here and we rally and do that. I'm not saying that. I'm saying as a collective, that when that headline breaks, if we all done the right thing, if we all just popped out the video, and not a repeat, we popped it out and corrected the lie that they said, like a banana, the radiation from a nuclear reactor couldn't possibly have anything to do with the background radiation of a banana. It has nothing to do. It's not, right? And so that law had, has to end and it has ended as far as I'm concerned. And it ended in the last 60 days. We stomped it away. We, we stomped it into the ground. Um, and I know I just rambled on for a long, long time. 40 minutes. Hi, Miss Milky the Clown. Yay! Nuber Magic's here too. Indiegogo. Indiegogo. Uh, Indigo. Yeah, he's a heavily invested all kinds of stuff. Hi, Michael. Yeah, the fine for smoking in public is $27 in Washington, but jaywalking costs more. And yet, they let your kids walk to school breathing in all those buckyballs, right? And they give you a ticket for not putting a seatbelt on. And they're, they're getting buckyballs themselves. They're dropping their kids off and letting them walk through the radioactive fallout. And they're coming after you. See? And so they're being directed to come after you. Like you can see how the Americans got 40,000 new laws took effect today. 40,000 new laws. 40,000 new laws to keep you off balance, to keep you struggling, to keep you down. Right? This is their, this is their go, go mode. And that, that's useless now. That means nothing. Because the people that are, are going to enforce those laws and those boy laws and everything else, they're getting cancer too. Their children are going to get cancer in the next couple of years too. And so we got no choice but to do what we're doing. This is not, oh, in the future we can come out and do something like that. No. This is, this is what we're going to do. Whether I'm here or not, that's going to happen. Because people can't take it anymore. But we got to educate them. That's what we've been doing. And I think we've done a great job now up to this point of screaming and everything else, of educating people. And then the health concerns of, if you put more nutrition in your GMO, we won't have the issues. It's stupid how simple this is to deal with it. But by taking all the nutrients out and putting formaldehyde, which, well, and the glossophates, which don't allow you to take uptake nutrients, so even if you do, you got a little bit of GMO because you ate a chocolate bar, but you ate all organic that night, you can't take up the nutritions. You'll, get, you'll still get some, but you won't get your normal or a beneficial amount that you really truly need it. So, you, you know, like a, go out and pick a berry in the woods, everything is going to be contaminated in the future is a fact. And we have to put our institutions to work on it, but first we've got to face it. First we've got to deal with it. And this is, this is what we got to do. Time is running out. We know that. We've seen what happened to the Philippines. This is not an illusion. Just what the banana is, the background radiation of walking down the street, um, when you don't take into consideration the nuclear fallout itself, but just the normal background radiation from sunshine has nothing to do with this conversation. And so when people say it, we're obligated to come out and correct them. And we and that's what we're going to do over the next few months is build up enough people willing and able to come out with a 10 or 15 second video. But, but you don't have to be rude. You want that message to go out. So you have to find a funny way or a cute way or just like a sweet and a charming way. You can, you can smother them with kindness, okay? You can literally smother these people to death with kindness. They much rather you attack them because they ah you're from the fucking left you're a kooky left or you're a kooky right or you're an extreme left extreme right and far left far right but you want to come out I think civil uh, witty articulate short sweet and boom smackdown with the truth with a fact with a simple fact. And um, no hard feelings attached, right? But you just please don't say that no more is how you basically... That's what, we're, that's what I'm going to be pushing for. 
with little short videos. I'll come up with short videos and I'll just target. I'm not going to say, hey, come on, everybody, come here and hammer that person. But you'll see me doing it. I'll come out with a 10 or 15 second video and correct them. Say, hey, you know, by the way, a banana's got nothing to do with uh, plutonium-239, right? So please don't use it no more because you're lying to everybody and you're probably going to get someone killed by saying that. Anyway, uh, I think you're a nice person. Have a nice day. And I'll pop that video out to him. You'll see that showing up. And you say, Dana's weak, dude. Dana's lost his friggin' mind. Ah. Um, no, you won't. I know the ones that are watching this. But a lot of people will because they won't understand where I'm coming from. But we'll educate them. And we'll empower them. We'll make it worth their while. Because that, what most people might think, ah, it's no big deal, 15 seconds. It's huge when you got two or three or four or five thousand people come out and do it. Particularly when you're talking about the superstars and celebrities and pundits, popular pundits and uh, the useful idiots and the nuclear PR, nuclear lobbyists, bootlicking, cheerleading lapdogs. So when you come out and dummy one of them, you're dummying that whole industry. Right? And you can kill them with kindness with factual information. That's what we got to do. And we can be witty and charming, I think, is the better way to go about it. Uh, you could, I can't. I don't, I don't want to. I got personal feelings about this one that really gets under my skin, so it's hard for me to hold my contempt in. But uh, for most people, I'm sure they can pull it off. I have a lot of contempt for the ones that say bananas, background radiation of bananas. I listen to their lectures. And so to me, I understand they're going all around the country telling that lie to people that trust them, that bought their book, that believe in them, that admire them, that put them up on a pedestal when they deserve uh, hell itself because they know they're lawyers, they're very educated, very articulate, and the way they use grammar in order to manipulate and mold people to create the opposition that we run up into all the time is what they're actually up to. They might not even understand it themselves 100%. That's what grammar is all about. Grammar is about manipulation, see? Gram grammar is 100% about manipulation. You know, like the word ain't or won't. See, won't is an assertion. Because you're asserting something that leaves the other person with no option but force now. And that's, they want to they wanna manipulate you and mold you. And when you assert, you that means you're not... Uh, you're not playing by their rules anymore. And there is no, but they want rules, but there is no rules, but they try to enforce rules through grammar. And grammar can be used as a weapon. Grammar is a weapon. It's a very dangerous weapon. Uh, it's unhinged. I come and say hi. Hi, Anna Beck, uh, Big Now TV. Yeah, kill them with kindness. And I'll, I'll be practicing a lot of that, but I'll still be doing my live streams, even though I came out with a short video. But I'll come out with a little blast, a live blast just like this, because I can actually come out and go live immediately. And so I just put it in my little blast. Um, and that's so necessary. we got to name names. That's our obligations under our Bill of Rights, our Constitutions, our Magna Carters, and to our country itself, to ourselves, and to our own integrity. Right? And so that's something we were never taught about was our integrity. We were taught, you always bow down, the boss is always right, the customer is always right, corporation or gods, blah, right? So we're not like that. Sweet Jane, Sweet Jane, Adamine, hey, Buck. Hi, Penny Miller. Thank you. Hi, Broken Ass Islander, hey, buddy. Hi, Checks and Balance. I know I missed you last couple of nights. Hi, Stacy Lane. We love what you're doing, honey. Hi, Noberman, Ivan, uh, Camshaft. Oh, was nice. Uh, like I say, this. Reading your comments is like reading a book. First, I gotta open all the way down to the bottom, then I gotta come back up. That's because I learned that's the only way I can keep it in context if it does that. It's always good. Hi, Patrick Wheelhouse. Yeah, that sounds scary. Well, nothing can be fixed if we don't start, right? A lot of things can't be fixed, but a lot of things we'll, we'll deal with it. We can't turn our back and ignore it, we can't evade it or avoid it. We can't smell it, see it, hear it, feel it, taste it. Radiation. And so saying a banana is a good way of, of uh, murdering people. That's murder. But we're not going to do that to them. We'll just come out and put set, set things right. Set things straight. 
Um, yeah, I know Stephen. I basic that. Uh, well, that's the whole thing. How do we take over? Well, we have to take over by ending that the ha handful of simple lies that exist. There's a handful of simple lies that they use in the medias. And if you take that tool away from them, then the whole fucking charade falls apart. It all falls apart as soon as you do that. And then we deal with it. And I see a six months. We can start dealing with it. We can flip GMO and put get the formaldehydes and the glyphosates the fuck out of it and put nutrition back in there. Because they took all the nutrition out and we got the peer review studies. So if they can take the nutrition out of our food, they can fucking well put it back in. And if they don't put it back in, then we have to end them. They have to go. We can boycott them if we want, but I don't think that's enough. They gotta go. They're supposed to have a charter, not human rights. And so we need to take that away from them. Or we're gonna have anarchy. We gotta take everything back. But we take it back with reality and factual information, which is what they fear the most. This is what they truly, truly fear the most. And I'll take the heat, I don't care. It's too late now, you can't turn back this clock anyway. And why would you? It is my obligation as a Canadian and as a humanity, um, we are no different. Just because I'm Canada, but, and I should, probably shouldn't say that Canada, but just in humanity itself, that's our humanity, is we have to do this. Because we know better. You know, once again I'm going to remind you that less than 2 million people are online. So, if, or 2 billion. Five, mi 5 billion are not online. They have no idea that they're breathing hot particles. No idea of the radiation coming their way and, and that they should even think about protecting themselves from that. No idea, no concept. We are a privileged few. We truly are. And we have to, because we are the privileged few, we have to change that tide and get ready uh, to propagate that out. That's our obligations. And only then, you know, can we obtain something as a society. Right now, we're going down this hole where cancer is going to be uh, so obvious that people are going to lose their minds. And the system can't sustain what's coming. It can't sustain all this cancer that's coming. And so there's going to be a breakdown anyway. And so we, you know, we don't have that long at the rate the, the cancers grow because of the buckyballs, because so much was released into our environment, that this is what we got to do. We, and it's only gonna, the only reason that this charade is alive once again is because we don't hold them to account. Because uh, we didn't think about the bananas up till recently of how absurd it really truly is and how everybody says it. All the pundits, all the professors, all the useful idiots, all the PR firms, the nuclear PR firms, the NRC, the World Health Organizations, the big conglomerates like that, they all use those terminologies. And so it's, it's up to us to come out and set that straight. And so we can have a banana and say, hey, this got nothing to do with the uh, radiation that killed everybody in Chernobyl. This has nothing to do with the radiation that's dumped into our ocean. And if you say it again, I'm not gonna buy your product ever. And I'm gonna tell people not to buy your product because you're murdering people by lying. It's simple stuff like that, where a thousand people speak out. See, Twitter, who gives a fuck about a uh, one sentence tweet? That don't have the power. It doesn't. The Facebook post doesn't have the power unless it gets millions behind it. But a single fucking voice resonates I can guarantee it to you. It resonates. Particularly when it has factual information behind it. It's like, booyah! That guy just fucked him up real good. And everybody gets a good howl out of that, a good laugh out of that. And everybody appreciates that and they want to see that little moment again. And that's so important. We all do that. And that's what I mean. Like, like that, that 15 second clip, you've got no idea. Even though you might not think that you're capable, 
How hard is it to say a banana has got nothing to do with uranium-235 that came out of Fukushima? You should get your facts straight. Have a nice day. How hard is it to make a video like that? Once you've got the information. Once you understand the concept. And how hard would it be to sweeten it up a little bit? I don't know. But that's what we're up to. Yeah, nationalism. The rah, rah, rah. Like freelance rah in the same there. This, you grow up. You know, I support the fucking jobs, but there's 22 veterans committing suicide every day. There's 29,000 rapes a year in the military. That's, you know, how many raping in the countries they're occupying if they're raping their own that much. And so, but nationalism, yeah, I support the troop. That's your instant reflex. But what does supporting the troop mean? You know, 80,000 suicides since the uh, 9-11, uh, 4,500 dead in combat. You know, 5 million orphans. To get 11,000 Taliban. That's what supporting your troop means. Five million orphans to get 11,000 Taliban. It's extraordinary, right? And I don't know what's going on. I guess my audio is not. I guess my audio is not quite uh, as loud as it should have been. Okay, well, we'll wander down this milky clown. Hi, awesome. All of you should hit the remix this video. Ah, there you go. You know, I'll do something tonight that i never done before. Everybody give me a thumbs up. I always wanted to do that because I see people doing it in the comment section. Just to give you a break, I should do that one of these nights at the beginning. Because I see everybody out there always uh, telling people, asking people, or I should say, to do that. And that's how I appreciate it. Okay, Miss Milky the Clown, we hope you had a good end to the last year. And we're glad to see you the first day of this year. And we see Nubu Magic is here tonight. The link's under the video if you can't find me. Watching this later to Miss Milky down below. Missing Sky is now putting out videos regularly. Uh, Stacy Lane is down below too. There's so many people that got down below at the bottom of you. Just want to go see other opinions, other narratives, other ways of, of uh, absorbing the information. I mean, you got to like it. You got to like it. <laughs> And I can, not, the sad part is I'm going to fit so many links below. And so I'm trying to just put in people that are really busy right now. But I'm coming up, I'm going to have to shorten all that up in order to get more links in there soon. Because I, otherwise I can't type nothing in for a paragraph. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll close her down. Hi, Stephen. Laurel, Moments, Nothing More, Big Now TV, Indigo. I'll catch all these. Laura Adams. We'll catch all these comments. The real night writer. Uh, right after. I'm still good to go. Yeah, we need fresh vloggers to join the fight. That's right. Uh, Nuber Magic, and he just put up a little video. I think he was saying, because he hasn't been feeling good the last week. So make sure we pop over there right away. I'll be going off here in a moment. I just couldn't ask you a few more people. Uh, Sylvia, Elizabeth. I know we're fighting a little bit. That's fine. That happens. I'm not sure what that's all about. Uh, not much I can do. Uh, the Ninth Wave, Penny Mill, Miller. Why not? Yeah. Everything's moving. Ricky Sticky, hey, bud. Sweet Jane, Logman, 77, hey, buddy. Uh, goddamn. Yeah, the, the nasal noid dying is actually good, buddy. I don't, I don't depend on just iodine, right? It's only good for a little tiny bit of radiation. We're talking about uranium. We're talking about plutonium. So iodine, uh, talk to your doctor if you think you're going to use iodine. If you want to use iodine, look it up. Get educated before you even consider it. Uh, you're welcome, Rob. Thank you. Yeah, night, new brew. Hi, cat. And folks, I'm not getting messages. Comments got removed off my front page. Comments got added. Uh, and I removed them that I'd never seen before. Now, I went in and let in comments last night, checked the comments, let a few, um, not let a few, but um, read a few. And I uh, went back today, and uh, everything got changed. Yeah, thanks, Stacy Lane. And so I'm going to have to change my, my passwords tonight anyway on my account because someone's been into my account today. I don't know how, what else they've done. I just came online before I got here. Hi, Anna Beck, thank you. Uh, Marcus, Missing Sky, once again, thank you. Daisy333, I'm not going to get to everybody, am I? Adamine, again, thank you. Uh, Moments, nothing more. Ketzer K, there you go. 
uh, Stephen Island style height. Uh, let me see. That's my Zoe. I said the word Zoe. She recognized. Hi, Lunar. And I said hi to Free Lance. Miss Milky the Clown one more time as I go offline. Uh, Noodle A. And of course, you know what's going to happen. I'm going to have to refresh my page, sign in again before this thing will let me offline. I came right in on target 59 minutes. No, no trolls tonight, Lunar. Uh, Steven. Uh, let me see, anybody else? Okay, well, there you go. We'll see you folks tomorrow night. I'm probably going to have to refresh this page. Let's see, it didn't kick. No, we're still streaming, I bet you. Here we go, I'll refresh it. That's pretty weird, it's gonna make me sign in. There we go, sign in, Dana, click. Wait for it, ching, ching, ching. Yeah, still rocking. There we go, now it's a minute, one, one hour, one minute, 12 seconds, 13, 14, 